Hallelujah. Hi, welcome in. November 19, regaining the art of community. If we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. 1 John 1 verse 7. I have a friend who spent three months living in Israel with Jewish believers. During one of their conversations, the Jewish man noticed how often my friend came to visit him only to discuss a project. He turned to my friend during dinner and admonished him. You Western Christians, you always seem to need a program or an event to get together. Why can't you fellowship with one another just because you love each other? My friend was convicted by his assessment. They began to talk about how Jesus modeled love for the disciples and how they simply hung out together because of their love for one another. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this all will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. John 13, verses 34 to 35. Jesus often spent unhurried times of fellowship with the disciples. They shared countless meals together. It is often during such times we get to know others at a deeper level. Love for one another is one of the greatest signs of faith in Christ. However, the pace of life often contributes to a life being lived for the next event instead of for a relationship rooted in the love of Christ. Question, how many relationships do you have in your life that would allow you to fellowship simply because you cared for one another? Father, help me to be a friend to others without a motive for any personal gain.